hello all so we'll solve another uh, part problem the activity is given and the times are given like uh, t o t m and t p so we have to estimate t e and o square and we have to calculate what is the probability of completing the project in 12 days 14 days and 10 days so we have to calculate this t e by using the formula t o plus 4 t m plus t p by 6 we have to calculate this by t p minus T O by six the whole square, and we will get this uh, T as two for the one to two. For three we have from two to three we have four, and from two to four we have uh, three, and from three to five we have three, and from four to five we have uh, three, and from five to six we have three. And similarly, d square can be calculated by T P minus T O by six the whole square. So it is obtained like one by nine for one to two, and one is for two to three, and for sixteen by nine is for two by uh, uh, sorry uh, two to four, and we like uh, from three to five we have sixteen uh, by nine, and from four to five we have one by nine, from five to six we have one by nine. so we can calculate this by using this formula so next step is uh, we need to identify since uh, we need to calculate the probability of completion time we need to calculate uh, uh, mu and sigma mu is the summation of the project length of this project network or critical path of this network and uh, similarly for t also next we have to calculate uh, this thing the critical path of this uh, problem so first before that we construct a network so from 1 to 2 1 to 2 we have a mostly the most likely time as 2 we have to take that as the consideration from from 2 to uh, 3 we have uh, from 2 to 3 we have 4 as most likely time from 2 to 4 we have 2 as the most likely time from 3 to 5 we have 2 as the most likely time from 4 to 5 we have 3 as the most likely time and from 5 to 6 we have 3 has the most likely time so we will solve this by using a critical path network so critical path network uh, this will be the critical path thing we have to put a box for calculating the earliest start time and the latest completion time so here for one there is no incoming arrow so you have to put zero here and also zero here uh, since the latest completion time and the earliest completion time or early start time will be zero for the first uh, first network for first node and for the second one it is zero plus two since we have only one uh, incoming arrow uh, we have uh, zero plus two that is two For three, we have only one incoming arrow, so that is two plus four is six. For four, we have only one incoming arrow, so that is two plus two, that is four. For five, we have two incoming arrow, so one is from six plus two, six plus two, and another is from four plus three. So we have to calculate the maximum value here. So six plus two is eight, and four plus uh, three is seven. So the maximum value is eight. And for this thing, it is like. Uh, Uh, I think there is a mistake here, so let me check. So it is zero 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 plus two. It is two. Uh, for three, it is six. Uh, okay. For four, it is zero uh, plus. Uh, so it's two plus. So it is two plus two. That is uh, four. Stop it again. Okay, so for six it is uh, like uh, only one incoming arrow, so eight plus uh, three is eleven. So now we have to calculate the latest completion time, and this latest completion time can be identified by uh, this. First we have to put eleven. So six we have only one. Uh, uh, six we have uh, no outgoing arrow. For five we have one outgoing arrow. So for five we have one outgoing arrow that is eleven. Uh, so eleven 
minus 3 it is 8 so it is 8 for 4 we have only one outgoing so it is like uh, 8 minus uh, 8 minus 3 that is 5 for 3 we have like uh, only one outgoing so we have 8 minus 2 that is 6 for 2 we have 2 outgoing that is 6 minus 4 that is the first one and the second one is like uh, 5 minus 2 that is 3 so 6 minus 2 is 6 minus 4 is 2 and 2 3 we have minimum 2 here we put 2 here and we have from 1 we have only one outgoing that is 2 so 2 minus 2 is 0 we already put so you have to estimate the critical path so to calculate the critical path start from 1 and you mark 2 because we have uh, same 2 and 2 here so mark 2 and 2 here from 2 we have 2 possibility 3 and 4 so for 3 we have 6 bar 6 and for 4 we have 5 by 5 by 4 so we have same value 6 6 here so you mark this as the critical path and similarly from 3 we have only 5 so 5 as 8 8 so you mark this as critical path from 5 we have 6 7 11 11 will be there so you mark this as the critical path so the critical path is like 1 1 to 2 from 2 to 3 and 3 to 5 and 5 to 6 and the estimates are for the uh, for the uh, for the variance so from 1 to 2 we have 2 from 2 to 3 we have 4 from 3 to 5 we have 3 from 5 to 6 we have 3 so the value is 2 plus 4 8 2 plus 4 is uh, sorry 2 plus 4 is 6 6 plus 6 is 12 so the mu value is 12 and the dose square is we have to estimate uh, this thing from 1 to 2 we have 1 by 9 from 2 to 3 we have 1 from 3 to 5 we have 16 by 9 from 5 to 6 we have 1 by 9 so after estimating this uh, dough the dough value will be like 1.73 so we have obtained mu equal to 12 and sigma or dose equal to 1.73 so after identifying this we have to calculate what is the probability of completing the project in 12 days 14 days and 10 days so what is the probability of completing project in 12 days so for 12 days x is equal to 12 so the formula for z is equal to x minus mu by sigma so x value is like uh, 12 here minus sigma uh, for mu is 12 and sigma is 1.73 so this will have 0 so if it is like 0 go to this uh, statistical table and we for 0 we have 0 0.50 so z is equal to 0 0.5000 and the probability will be 50 percentage and this is for 1 and the 2 is like 14 days so x is equal to 14 so z is equal to 14 minus 12 by 1.73 so that is equal to 1.16 so since the value is positive here go to this table and calculate for 1.16 1.16 is 8770 that is 0.8770 this is z value and the total probability is 87.80 and the last one is x is equal to 10 so if you apply x is equal to 10 z is equal to x minus mu by sigma so that is 10 minus 12 by 1.73 and we will get 1.16 as the negative value since the value is negative go to this table check for 1.16 
so 1.16 is again uh, 0.8770 0.8770 you subtract this with 1 and you will get the value as 0 0.123 um, this is z value and uh, the probability is 12.3 percentage thank you